Profit is an important measure in economics because a firm's goal of maximizing profit is central to many economic models of production and supply. Many people often confuse revenue and profit and think that bringing in as much money as possible, revenue, is the same outcome as generating as much profit as possible. Revenue maximization and profit maximization are two different things. Simply put, profit is the amount left over from total revenue once the total cost of production is subtracted. If you want to think about it on a per unit basis, profit can be calculated as the per unit profit, price minus average total cost, multiplied by the number of units sold. Suppose a bedding company makes pillows and sells each pillow for $19. This price is the price that the company receives from consumers who purchase their product. It's part of the revenue component of profit, but it doesn't say anything about how much the company spent to produce the pillow. If a pillow, on average, costs the company $5, the per pillow profit is simply $19 minus $5, or $14 per pillow. If the company sells 2,000 pillows, their profit can be calculated as $19 minus $5 times 2,000 units. Using this method of calculation, the company's profit is $28,000. Another way to calculate profit is to look at the total values instead of per unit values. Total revenue is the full amount of money received by producers when selling output. For example, consider the overall profit for a furniture manufacturer. The company may have high revenues from selling a few pieces of expensive furniture, but they must pay for workers' salaries, material, a space to create the furniture, and people to sell the furniture, and ways to spread word about their product. All of these activities take money away from total revenue and end up lowering potential profit for the manufacturer. In mathematical terms, profit can also be written as total revenue minus total cost. The two formulas are mathematically equivalent, but one focuses on knowing the per unit profit and the other focuses on looking only at totals. In the example of the furniture manufacturer, the profit would equal the total money earned by selling the furniture minus the total amount spent on wood and salaries. In the simplest case, if a producer sells all of its output at the same price, then total revenue is equal to just price times quantity. If a company sells 50 units of output at $6 each, then total revenue is equal to $300. However, if the producer's output is sold at various prices, total revenue can be calculated by multiplying each price by the quantity sold at that price point and then adding these numbers together to get total revenue. Instead of selling 50 units at the same price, the company may want to sell 30 units at $6 each and the other 20 units at a discounted price of $5 each. The total revenue would be equal to 30 units times $6 plus 20 units times $5 for a grand total of $280. Once total revenue is calculated, costs must be calculated to understand the final profit levels. Just because a company earns a lot of money does not mean they are profitable. A firm with revenues of $300,000 per month may appear to be successful, but if the company spends $350,000 per month, it is in fact losing $50,000 every month. Profit is the essential calculation to measure the success of a business. It provides a fuller picture than either total revenue or total costs alone.